Hey YouTubers, Console Gamer here, and tonight I'll be showing you my HTPC setup. Now you're probably thinking, what is HTPC? Now, firstly, HTPC stands for Home Theater Personal Computer. It's basically a PC that its primary use is to display your multimedia content. So it's basically a, a media center. I have mine connected to my home TV in the lounge. Um, and it's basically awesome for displaying content such as your movies, your TV shows, your music, your pictures, and it can do um, online streaming, and um, it also acts as a, uh, a TV capture as well. Now there's plenty uh, of interfaces out there that you can use to install on, on your HTPC. I'm currently using XBMC or Xbox Media Center. As you can see, it's very sleek and it looks awesome so I'm just gonna run through the menus right now so well, first of all we got movies I'm gonna hit enter so here is my collection now XBMC is so clever that it downloads automatically the blurb or the plot of the movie the DVD or blu-ray cover art the background fan art the disc cover art the resolution of the movie uh, or the video the video and the audio format you can see there as well and it also collates your box sets together, which uh, it has done for um, X-Men as you saw. Now there is my list of movies. Now um, I'm just going to go into the menu again and go into kids movies. Now I've separated these ones for the kiddies, so whenever the, my niece and nephew come over, um, you know, all the content isn't uh, stored where the mature content is, so it's uh, very user friendly and um, it's easy to access. Now I'm just going to go back into the menu and hit TV shows. As you can see, this is my TV shows collection. Basically um, in the same sort of format as the, the movies, but um, these are all shows um, which contain episodes or seasons and then episodes. Um, again, it downloads the, uh, the blurb or the plot, gives you the cover art and the associated background. Okay, now... Um, now I've made a custom folder called Favorite Shows, so I can easily access whatever I want to watch um, or what I currently online at the moment. Um, now to my docos, just a, a quick glimpse of that. So we'll go back. It's pretty much the same as TV shows and movies. Now uh, for the good stuff, we can stream uh, different channels online. So we've got one channel there. We've got um, yeah CBS News. We've got uh, NBA TV. We've got um, uh, yeah sports streaming live we've got ESPN we've got the food channel we've got um, quite a lot of things to watch so I'll just give you a quick example of how it streams and the quality that it streams so I've just clicked on um, Fox News um, just selecting anything random I'll just show you um, the, the current headlines at the moment so here we go It'll take a bit to load, but uh, you, you'll notice when it comes up. All right, let's go to the new evidence now that the Obama administration knew more than they were telling us about the Obamacare rollout problems. The House Energy and Commerce Committee... On so that was a pretty good stream. As you can see, it was in HD, and I've got a, a 1080 television, so it wasn't true HD, but it probably was at least 480, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, more channels. We got Reddit there. We got uh, Times New York. We got uh, movie trailers. YouTube. We got Vines. I don't think Vines works. Let's try it out. All right. No, it doesn't seem to want to work. So some channels, for some reason, don't want to work. Um, we can check the XBMC forums to find out why. But um, yeah, I'm not really fussed. I can go onto YouTube and watch Vines anyway. And yeah, what I'm doing now is having a look at um, the YouTube app. As you can see, I've searched for myself. And um, yeah, there's a couple of couple of uh, video uploads that I've done. I'll just show you my welcome channel intro, and it'll stream that one as well. Okay, here we go. Reviews. Tutorials, unboxing, gameplay. As you can see, I've uh, edited a few 
online game clips that I've um, that I've played in. My slashing of the cone there. Just sped up some uh, sniping gameplay as well. So I can actually show you guys um, how I made those videos if you uh, if you want. Just let me know and and give us a comment. Um, yeah, so we're back into the XBMC main screen. I've clicked on audio. These are my podcasts. Just stuff I like to listen to. Um, Ricky Gervais, he's awesome. So I'll just give you a sample of uh, that podcast. The Ricky Gervais Show on Guardian Unlimited. You're listening to Ricky Gervais with me, Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Now... You uh, probably know me from such works as The Office, and it. So that was the Ricky Gervais podcast. If you guys um, don't know of Ricky Gervais or uh, haven't heard of his podcast, I highly recommend it. So <laughs> check that out. It's pretty funny. Um, back into the menu, we've got the programs. Uh, these are just applications or little plugins that um, that you can use in XBMC. I'll show you one of them, which is one of the more useful ones. This is NaviX. And this is a repository of um, the content that people have shared online. So you can watch, you can stream movies and, and TV shows and uh, sport and other um, video content. Um, pretty much anything you can think of, really. Um, I'm just going to scroll, th scroll through the list. And it looks like this one is, I don't know, a Bollywood or a, an Indian movie folder so um, not too interested in that but I'm sure there's there's plenty of people that would uh, love to watch that content so as you can see there's heaps and heaps of content that, have, that has been shared online um, I don't think you need a decent connection because I don't have a decent uh, internet connection I only get about uh, 600 kilobytes on a good day um, I'm just gonna try out one of these movie folders we've got um, I think I clicked on Battle of the Bands. No, I don't want to watch Battle of the Bands. I wanted to uh, check out Prisoner. Um, let's see what it see what it gives us. Mm, this might be awkward if uh, if Battle of the Bands comes on. Let's have a look. So as you can see, it, it's it's buffering the content, but um, this content could be somewhere, say in the U.S. or, or somewhere in the world. Oh uh, yeah, I think I clicked on Battle of the Bands. Yeah, not really. Did I say Battle of the Bands? I meant um, Battle of the Year. Still not interested. It's a bit jerky, but um, yeah, I don't really watch movies. I don't stream movies online. I just um, torrent them and uh, yeah, have them in my collection. But as you can see, there's a, a whole variety of diverse content from all around the world. All users are sharing them. Who are you who use NaviX? So we'll exit out of that. We've got um, a few other ones here. Let's see. We've got uh, the ROM ROM collection browser. I think was pretty good, but um, haven't managed to configure that one as yet. All right, so just a glimpse of the the menu system here. We can change the skin. I'm using Aeon Nox, so if you were to download XBMC, you won't see what uh, you won't you won't see all this. Basically, you'll see something different. The default XBMC skin Confluence, I think it is, but. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a glimpse of my XPMC home media PC. Uh, we've got the weather app, or section, should I say. Um, we've got pictures even, so I'll give you a, a quick little glimpse of that. Okay, so what do we have? We've got cheeseburger, we've got Flickr, we've got Google. Um, let's just click on something random. We'll try Flickr. And we'll search it. Mm, what can we search? Let's see. What's the first thing? NBA. We'll just go NBA. And it will search Flickr for associated pictures of NBA. We might have to be a bit more descriptive or a bit more specific. Um, we'll go into music now. And um, as you can see, there's a, a good um, good list of options to choose from. I've just clicked on albums and this is my collection of music and um, basically I, I rip the CDs, turn them into digital MP3, uh, MP3 formats 
and um, play them through XBMC. So I'll just play Coldplay. A bit of Coldplay is always good. Just showing you the menu as well. So when you go back into the menu while playing music, it'll give you the track list. Um, it's a cool animation there with the CD rotating. And yeah, like like everything else, it will download and associate the album cover art, the CD cover art, which I didn't have there at the time, um, and a, a bit of a description of the song. Now, I'm going back to movies. I'll show you guys a bit of playback. Oh my God, it's full on. So as you can see, I click the movie, it plays instantly. There's no quality issues there. The movie's in full 1080. And another cool feature of XBMC, you actually have the ability to download the subtitles. So I'm going to go ahead and download the subtitles for We Are The Millers, or We're The Millers. Oh and yeah, as you saw, it takes 10 seconds to download and it syncs automatically. Now I'm just going to stop that and go back to my movies list. As you can see, it's pretty comprehensive, the uh, the features of XBMC, we've got uh, pretty much everything you need to display your content. Now I'm just going to try Pacific Rim just to give you another demo of the quality of the video. Whenever I'd feel small or lonely, I'd look up. Now I'm just going to skip through the movie for a bit just to give you an idea of how smooth the playback is. So yeah, pretty awesome quality. And that, guys, concludes my XBMC setup. If you like my showcase, feel free to comment. If you have any questions, do the same. If you're enjoying my content, please check out my channel. Also, like my vids and subscribe and all that jazz. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys online.